What's up guys, uh, this is Flexpoint, and I am going to explain my new new top that I just played. <clears throat> this is my first time trying it, so I was a little nervous, but here, give me a second. But um, I was originally going to jungle. But the thing is, is that was, mistakes were made in champ select, and I had the top line. I, it wasn't a big deal. So, I was under the impression I was going against Jax, which is why I said, you know what, it's Nunu, it's not that bad. But, ended up going against a Jarvan. So I knew this was going to be a little difficult. Give me a second. There we go. So for my runes, I went ahead and went. <laughs> yeah, I spam laugh a little bit with new new bot. I go attack damage reds, scaling health yellows, uh, scaling ability power blues, and AP quints. I get the extra AD to help with the last hitting, and if anything, I would get uh, hybrid pen reds, if not AD. But I took the AD because to help with the last hitting, and I mean, when you use Nunu, excuse me, when you use Nunu, I mean, you just spam Ice, or uh, you just spam Ice Blast, you know, and they can't really run away from you. So all you, a lot of what Nunu does is auto attacks, you know what I mean? So, 30 seconds until minions spawn. I went ahead and started a ruby crystal and two bots so I can rush the catalyst. Now immediately I saw that whenever I go top lane I always take Telly. Unless I use an assassin. Like maybe Riven, a Zed Talon. But um Went ahead and went uh, Telly, and immediately I saw Jarvan had Ignite. So you have to be really careful early. Really careful. careful. So just looking at Nunu's base damages for some of his spells. Sorry about that. Um, we see Ice Blast deals 85 plus 19. Okay. 85 plus 19 is 104. So you do 104 damage every 5 seconds. Okay, that's similar to Rise Q. Okay, so his early harass is actually really strong. But again, what you want to do is you want to use your passive so you can get some free spells. Okay, so you go ahead and hit him with the Ice Blast. Took some decent damage. Whoa. Not too bad. Okay, so my passive, new new passive for those who don't know. It's after five basic attacks, Nunu's next spell will cost no mana. Now he's gonna do what Jarvan does. He's gonna spam his Q and try and do some damage like that. And it's effective. It's a good. It's a good idea. But again, what I need to do right now is get to level two. Damage him when I can, but I need to get to level two. For my masteries. I ran AP masteries. Like, as if you're a mid laner, you know? Oh. Alright, once I got that, just consume. Right away. No, I guess I didn't. Ow. That hurt. I never liked Jarvan. No, that's what I did. I waited Delicious. to get my passive up. Delicious. <laughs> All right, so surprisingly, my Udyr jungler actually came to help, but um, it was warded. I didn't ping it. I knew it was warded. I saw him ward it, but I never pinged it. So um, I didn't really want to ping it because as long as he stayed there, thinking it wasn't warded, it... oh, he swept it anyway. Like the longer I'd have to free farm, Jarvan have to play it safe at that point. These are the same runes I use for Alistair and Nidalee. So I'm just there trying to get my passive up, 
get as much CS as I can. What's the CS count right now? Let me fix this for you guys. So I'm up 8, 19 to 11 CS. Okay, now that's a typical mistake people make, especially like in gold, but even more in bronze and silver. Like, they don't focus on CSing, they just focus on harassing. Like, shit, right there. I harassed him, but it's not a big deal. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to auto him or anything. Like, there, obviously, I had to. But, I mean, I'm not trying to hit him. I'm not trying to over-spam my abilities. I'm just trying to get the CS. Now, right there, Jax was like, that was a good gang. I didn't die because I'm new-new, but that was a good gang. Oh, yeah, I did die, but that's not worth it all. Like, that's worth for me. So, Jax loses red buff, and he loses time in the jungle. While my Udyr farms. So, I'll, I'll happily take that kill. Now, the thing with me is, that's why I ran Telly, you know? Now, instead of getting the Catalyst, I was like, I'm going to go a little more offensive. And the thing about going offensive on Nunu is, the more AP you have, uh, the more health you get back when consumed. So, you have to keep that in mind also. So, I said, you know what? I can go ahead and fight him. And he was being a little genius about that. He waited till I got behind him and used that to run away. I think he did yeah. that like two more times. Yummy. It's a good job. I mean, he knows what he's doing. But again, looking at the CS numbers, it's 23 to 20, and that's because I died. And I'm still up. And he's backing, and he doesn't have telly, so I'm going to be up in CS. Delicious. Again, if he's not there, if your laner isn't there, do not spam your abilities. Use your passive, save your mana. And last hit, of course. So, I never got my W, and I think in a little bit you're going to see why that messed me up. Because when you get in long fights, especially with someone like Jarvan, who's a melee, that little bit of attack speed definitely helps. But looking at my my Ice Blast, it deals 245 damage every 5 seconds, which is pretty good. For being level 5, you know. But uh, again, last hitting... You know, I, I had some time to burn, so I, I pinged I was going mid. I pinged a gank mid. I wasn't level 6, but I figured, you know what? Annie's going to be sick soon. Um, let's try let's try gank. I think he hit 6. Yeah, he just hit 6. There's the fight. Got him. Just like that. I pinged mid so that we can try and take the tower, but I don't think she wanted to do it. She sent Tibbers with me, but that was it, really. And <laughs> the Mia came in so late, what the fuck? Okay, she wanted to, she wanted to go hit him, but I didn't want to. Nice double pop up. Uh, his stun stopped my ulti, but I mean, I still got him with the shot class. Nice blast, whatever. Now I'm new, new. I'm not gonna die. I'm out of mana. I can't really get an auto attack range, so just sit in the back and spam laugh. I have to auto. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to auto a couple times, but I, w I was gonna be, but then I saw like I can get extra experience, you know? Like if I just get a little closer. So I got a little closer and then I beat and leveled up. I think now I get the catalyst. Oh, I, actually, I don't. I don't think I get it. I think I get some armor. Okay, yeah, I get the catalyst and armor and I telly top. No, I don't telly top. I just jog top. Alright. So. Max out ice uh, ice blast since you're laning, and I asked that I maxed out consume second. Uh, I wouldn't suggest that anymore. I would suggest maxing out blood boil second. So when you get in these melees, if you're against a melee, yes, blood boil second. But if you're not, just get consume and uh, use it for the sustain. I thought he wanted to give it to me, so I pinged it. So right here. 299 damage. 300 damage every every five seconds. So I'm fighting him. Figure I can outduel him, but I mean he did that thing he likes to do. 
Actually, I think we don't fight. I don't think he kills me until he gets the Tiamat. He got a nice little boost there with the Tiamat. So, I knew there was a fight. I pinged him B, but once I saw that Udu was dead, I just went back to line. Again, just focus last inning. I'm up 46 to 33 CS. That's just that's just crazy, man. That's not right. Yummy. Yummy. Uh. Take that. <laughs> Again, just zoning him out, he can't really do much, and then they decided to come in and gang squad me. But, I mean, I just flashed it out. <laughs> I mean, it was only, they didn't know I had flash, and, I mean, I just had to wait for the Charvin ult. Once he ulted. And the silly thing was, silly thing was Jax kind of jumped in with me, so, he, they were both stuck in there. <laughs> I just flashed it. And just jungle, really. I didn't know if he would stay or not, so I went ahead and just uh, took the white just to get the passive. I think Jarvan's gonna be soon. Oh, he misses that, and I see he's out of mana, so I was just like, I'll fight you. I'm still not worried, man. Okay, now I'm worried. But like I said, I'm new, new. Like they're, I'm new, new. They're pussies. I'm good. But I do have to be though, because. I think he just died me. Primary item on Nunu with the scaling health and the passive when you consume a lizard. Uh, definitely Rod of Ages this is the core item. I was thinking about going tri uh, uh, Rod of Ages into Triforce. Same thing I do with Alistair, but I thought that was too troll. So after Rod, I went ahead and rushed. I noticed they were all they were all uh, auto attack based. So uh, I said Frozen Heart second item is pretty good. I think he comes back with a team up. Yeah, he does. And then he'll move it to the last spot on the item spots. And then we fight. I this is where I mess up. I tank two turret shots, which is fucking stupid. Right here. Okay, he smacks me. It hurts a little bit because I mean it's Tiamat right here. One. I go back another, and I'm just there like, what the fuck, this turret, man. But um, I needed to consume something, but I knew if I get consumed, if I went in, like I'd get all in, and I couldn't fight him like that. So I went to go jungle, which is actually didn't do, which actually didn't do much for me. I didn't really get that much health back, which was dumb. But this is a perfect example about why you should get a couple of points in Blood Boil. I think I waited. Yeah, I did. And then I consumed it. Delicious. Again, it only gave me 129 health. That's not that much. It probably took away 150. But yeah, he all ends me right here. The thing about when you fight melees like Jarvan, he only has one um, disruption that'll stop the channel of your ulti. Okay. Yummy. Yummy. Right there. I should have ulti sooner. It took me a while to think about it, like, oh, he doesn't have anything yet. And where I messed up was I kept fighting him. Wasn't a bad idea, but... See, if I had Blood Boil there, I'd have been perfect. And I could have consumed a minion. I couldn't consume a minion because, I mean, I was inside of his uh, Cataclysm. 
But if I had Blood Bowl, I would have gotten at least two or three more autos in there and that would have killed him. So, yeah. Once that, once I died, I was like, okay, I need to get armor. So I finished my rod and got a Warden's Mail. Purple Team's turret has been destroyed. Lemon Lime Sewed. That name, though. Alright, so. Oh, sorry about that, guys. But I'm gonna keep going. Fast forward. I'm gonna farm and spam laugh because it's funny. I see Jarvin bot lane, so I push the wave in. Delicious. Take that tower. <laughs> oh god, the Jax came late, I forgot. The Jax comes in, goes balls deep. Thinking he can kill me, right? So I can see my minion, get my health back. That's it. He doesn't have a disruption anymore. Burn the flash, but I'm I'm new, new man. You're not getting the fuck away from me. Peace. Peace, son. Perfect. That's how you do it. All right, for boots on new, new. Uh, let's see if I finish the frozen heart first. Do I finish the frozen Blue heart? Team's has been yes, destroyed. I do. Okay, for boots, you may be thinking, get magic pen. Yeah. Uh, no, do not get magic pen. Magic pen boots on Nunu, horrible. Okay, I don't like them at all. If you want pen, just buy a buy Leandri's, buy Void Staff. All right, get AP with it. Don't just get boots. All right, so automatically when I I looked at my my stats right Autom every time I look at my I look at my stats multiple times in the game, right? And let me fix that. Let me see. I forgot how to do that. Can't believe I forgot. I, I'm pretty sure I'm pressing the right button, but my computer's being dumb. I look at my CDR, I have 2.5% CDR, okay, now you add 20% from there, I'm at 22.5%, alright, I see an opportunity to tally by the way, we're gonna go back and play that through, now there are no wards which upset me except for those two, but I remembered I can tally to Tibbers, so I waited for Tibbers to go balls deep, and saved it right there, and this was GG. Peace. Just like that. Perfect telly. No, I actually, I think, I thought it was good. No, maybe not perfect, but it was definitely good telly. Okay. And Jarvin's ass had to walk. Anyways, um, I, I'm at 22.5% CDR. I don't like it. I'd rather be at 40. Alright. So that'll put this at 4.6 seconds instead of 5.8. Oh, so a little over a second difference. All right, so I get CDR boots. Okay, what you can get is okay, viable boots, CDR boots, Merc treads, armor tabba. Those three only. All right, nothing wrong with mobies, but they, I mean, they're mobies. Like, I mean, if you're fighting, you walk slow as fuck. Okay, so definitely get. CDR. I didn't have any CDR runes or masteries with the exception of the 2.5 that comes like with one of the whatever I forgot. That's not enough. Like it doesn't matter who you're using, you need a CDR. Okay, the, the higher the CDR, the more spells you use. The more spells you use, the more damage you deal, the more damage you, the more kills, you know? So, I got that and that put me at like 38.5%, somewhere around there. And I told I told Udyr, I'm maxed out consumed, so let's do the Baron. We could have done it a lot sooner, but I didn't even end up using it in the last minute. And he got it. But at that point, uh, third item I get, fourth item I get is MR. You gotta balance it. I mean, sure, I mean, they're all AD, but you get a Banshees. You just get it. Okay. They got a Fiddle Fear, they got the Talent Silence. Jack Stone, Java and Papa. Just get Banshees. It's like the new version of GA, really. So after that I was probably gonna get Rabbit on, but I don't think it went that far. 
now that I have a couple of points in Blood Royal, put it on Udyr and Lucian, clear. Alright, there's my cow. Yeah, We're, I mean, I'm strong, I'm beefy, I hurt, I'm tanky, I'm everything, man. So, like, look at that, I get a fear under the tower, it's no big deal. I just zone it about, they can't get past me. Here's the thing about Nunu Nunu is a support champion, okay? He's the support, I don't care what anybody says. Alright, he's got CC, and he's got a buff, and he's got a debuff, okay? Ice Blast uh, lowers movement speed and attack speed. Alright, he's a support champion. To be using, you gotta be speeding up the carries, you gotta be CCing the assassins, high priority targets, you gotta be kiting, you gotta everything, you gotta peel. You know, like, like, he's not gonna kill me. Just consume Ice Blast, dead. That's in peace. That's it, just like that. She jumps in to kill me? No, that's not how it works. I'm new to you. But. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Couple of key points over new, new top lane. Always get Rod of Ages. That is your core item. Okay. After Rod of Ages, if you want to get maybe Triforce, go offensive, that's fine. You do you. But get that Rod as fast as possible and keep up in CS or even get above and beyond. End at the game roughly 30 CS over Jarvan. Alright. That's unheard of with a Tiamat Jarvan. Like, that should not be how it is at all. If you get a Tiamat in lane, you're not supposed to miss CS. I mean, with Jarvan's passive, you shouldn't be missing CS anyway. All right, but that's not that's not the point. The point is, keep up in CS or lead. Get that rod as fast as possible. It's he's like one of those made a top lane champions. Okay, he's like Maokai. He's like um, uh, what are those other top lane Maokai, Alistair, like all those. Um, well, I mean, not recently, but. When this whole Alistair fad was starting, you used to get Rod of Ages on him, right? Extra health. And um, who else is it good on? Uh, Maokai, Lissandra. Um, just get the Rod, okay? After you get the Rod, based on what their team comp is, if it's AD heavy, get the Frozen Heart. If it's AP heavy, get the Cow into the Banshees, all right? After the Banshees, then you get the Frozen Heart. I, you know what? I Those three items are your core. Frozen Heart, Banshees, and Rod. Rod, obviously, first. And based on their team comp, second item you choose between Banshees or Frozen Heart. Alright. Throw in boots there if, if you can. But three main boots. Um, Lucidity boots, Merc Treads, a uh, Ninja Tabai. Always Alacrity. If you want to go Tier 3, get the Alacrity boots. Alright, trust me on that. Alacrity is better on Nunu. <clears throat> Fourth item optional. You can get a you can get a Zanya's or a Death Cap. Or if you want to get health, you can get a Rylize, but I don't really like Rylize on Nunu. It's kind of re redundant. So you can get a Leandries. Leandries will go really well with Nunu's um uh passive movement speed debuffs. Okay, it'll proc the passive on Leandries, you know? So Final item would be either a Void Staff, or if you want to go more defensive, you can go Randuins. Okay. Oh, you can get a GA. Like, I, I don't give a fuck what you get. As long as you go defensive, your last item. Okay, now you say Leandris isn't defensive. It gives you health. Okay, Nunu, it's better to have health on Nunu. Okay, because if you consume a Lizard, you deal bonus magic damage based off your max health. You know what I mean? So max your health out. When you have Frozen Heart and Banshees, that should be enough. If you get your health low, just consume a minion. That'll save your life. Just consume a minion. Alright guys, so... I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. I haven't made a video in quite a while. So, again, just if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. You can also see me on my Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash... 
FlexPoint, LOL. F-E-F-L-E-X-P-O-I-N-T, LOL. I hope this video helped y'all. And uh, something you can do if you go to new top lane is early barons. 15, 16 minute barons. If you max out consume, that's 1k true damage. Clear out baron ASAP. Alright, so just keep that stuff in mind. And again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the love. And you all have a good night. Thank you.